Hello. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, it's Chris. I am here today to share my June TBR. I have a little bit more time this month to prioritize reading, so I'm really looking forward to kind of knocking out a lot of books in my upcoming summer months, but if not, it is what it is. But yeah, let's get started. My first, okay, there's certain authors I really like to read during the summer and I feel like Abby Jimenez is a really great summer read. Her books are just like, just vibes. They're just so realistic but very endearing. The characters are really likable and have a lot of depth to them. And I think just for this summer is going to be a great read to kind of like go out on the beach and read or the park and like just enjoy myself with a little drink. A little snack but <laughs> but yeah i'm looking forward to reading this this follows justin and justin is known online for his basically curse where anyone who he dates will find the love of their life after they break up and then emma our female protagonist ends up hearing about this and she also has a similar curse so they have this idea for just for the summer they are going to date and hopefully when they part their ways, find the loves of their lives. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I've been holding off on reading this because I wanted to read it during the summer and just vibe out, just, just chill out. I don't know if you guys could ever really tell, but my living room doesn't have any windows, so it's hot in here right now. So <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys can't tell how like, like how sweaty I am right now, but yeah. <laughs> The next book on my June TBR is The Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. Maniscalco? Calco? This is her, I believe, first adult fantasy release and I thought it'd be really interesting to check this out. We follow, I think, believe Envy as he has been cursed and his kingdom has been cursed and he is trying to reverse the curse and fundamentally help the people in his kingdom and restore his power. So I'm looking forward to this. I really liked Kingdom of the Wicked and I feel like Kingdom of the Curse and Kingdom of the Feared were kind of not necessarily what I wanted. It was kind of a bit of a bummer. So I'm hoping I'll really enjoy this. It is a hunk, it's a thickums. For as much as I read manga and manhua and danme and stuff like that, I dabble in like shonen style manhua where there's a lot of action kind of stuff like that. I'm not as well versed in that as I am in like fantasy and stuff, but I ended up picking, oh, this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> Omis. Um, on this, um, I'm not, on um, this, omniscient, 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 reader's point of view. But I ended up picking this because I, I've only heard really great things about this series once again. And I feel like this is a very popular manhua. I don't have the physical copy. You don't actually have to read the physical copy. This is actually, I believe, on Webtoons as well. It is free, but... If you want to get chapters in advance, they have a coin system where you buy the coins and then exchange the coins for chapters, etc. You know, I got this because it was on sale. So, and I like reading the physical. There's something about reading a physical that I really enjoy. So, yeah, this I'm looking forward. I think this will be a great change of pace between the fantasy reads I have this month, even though technically this is kind of more fantasy still technically, you know, but I think this is a more fast paced read. So I feel like a lot of the other books I have on my list are kind of like really thick. And if I want to have like a little break of reading something a little bit shorter, this would be a great kind of thing to break up the pace. I have one cozy read. I don't know if you would technically call it cozy. I think this is cozy with the most stakes you could have without it being not cozy anymore. And that is <laughs> Can't Spell Treason Without Tea by Rebecca Throne. And okay, I will be fully transparent. 
I got this book originally because I thought the title was hilarious and I got <laughs> I was just like this is the most hilarious pun <laughs> I've seen all day I gotta pick it up and then what really sold me was a fantasy a cozy fantasy steeped with love and I was just like oh come on I gotta get it <laughs> so I really don't know that much about it to be fully transparent I got it because of the puns again the bookseller that did ring me up did mention that this is very cozy and very similar in the vein of Legends and Lattes and I love Legends and Lattes and thought I gotta check out <laughs> Can't Smoke Treason Without the Tea I do think that this is kind of more high risk, high, more high stakes compared to Legends and Lattes so I'm looking forward to it. It's also like very cute. It has sprayed edges. I think this is about like under 340 pages. So I think this would be a quick read as well. And I think this would be a nice read to read at night when I'm not like, it's just so I'm not like amped up on adrenaline and anxiety before I go to bed. So I'm looking forward to this. It's cute. I don't know what to say <laughs> besides that because I obviously bought this book based on the cover and title. <laughs> so my last two books are fantasy books. One of them is on like the hef like heftier side, you know? <laughs> and those books are The Coward by Stefan Arian and The Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. Sullivan? Look, I am, <laughs> okay, look, I am just a fantasy girly. I'm sorry. I've been reading a lot of romance and literary fiction lately and I feel like I don't know I would necessarily call it a a reading slump but I think I'm kind of wanting kind of to change it up a little bit. That's the Swords <laughs> is basically a story between Two unlikely characters who have come together, made a name for themselves, and are going on a mission to kind of do an impossible task. So I'm looking forward to reading this. This is technically two books bound into one. So I think realistically, if we split it in half, it's like 350 pages per book. So that's not really all that bad. I think it's just seeing it all together at once is kind of like yikes and the other book i'm looking forward to reading is the coward this follows kel Carissia as after he has defeated the great evil has decided after 10 years of journey and responsibility and being the hero is retiring to a quiet life but unfortunately a great evil has begun to arise once again and threatens the world he lives in and he is called back to one last quest even though he doesn't want to and unknown to the community at large Kel is not the actual hero he is just lucky and has been able to get through and do everything based on this luck right and I'm just like oh I love this concept of like an uh, unwilling un I already like the concept of an unwilling hero but an unwilling hero that is like I gotta do it again you know I really love that that's just that's just me, okay? <laughs> it's, I'm unwilling in everything. But I really like this idea that he is someone who is on his last, like one last big quest, one last thing to do before he is like, I'm done, no more, don't bother me. This is it, guys. And like, they're making him sound like an old decrepit person. He's only 27 <laughs> in this story, right? And they're like, <laughs> they make, like based on the back of the story they make him sound like he's decrepit and old like <laughs> like 27 is not old <laughs> what the hell but i'm really looking forward to this i think that's it for me today guys i i'm still really tired from doing my book organization videos yeah let me know what you guys are reading if you guys are if you guys are in the same vein of me as where it's like you love bad dad puns. <laughs> like, I have no excuse for that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading these books and getting back in the swing of things after a busy month. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great morning, 
noon afternoon night and bye <laughs>